Alrighty, let's take a look at this guy here. They are definitely not happy. All right. And then you also sent me the reference. The speed of these guys is crazy. So crazy. I've never seen this here. Look at that jump. Especially that. Look at that weight in here. It's cool. Yeah, it's all interesting to see. Um, my impression was it just felt a bit stiff and stiff and light. And there are a couple of things, um, especially through here, just visually. I would give this a much brighter gray and maybe just the whole thing, the same color. Because then we start to bleed into just so many blacks, it gets to, uh, it gets a bit difficult to see what's going on. So just presentationally, I would change it a bit. The main thing is that there's, a, I don't know, I don't know what you want to do. So that's my question for you. There's something where this feels a bit more gorilla-ish at the beginning, because of all fours. But then what's weird is that this creature kind of behaves the same way. You got the knuckles, you got bent over. So for me, my first impression was, why not just have two gorillas? And then you can stick to the reference a bit more closely and use that. If you're already using an alien creature, I would change the movement and make this very alien -y and, and different. So there's contrast between the two and you can play up that contrast. Maybe this creature is more the jumpy kind or where it's very low and like, you know, the head is always down here. And it's just something that's different. You gotta almost like you want to go high status, low status and just more punching down. And then that creature will go more sideways, sneaky. I don't know. I will play up the contrast, but that's just me. Once you have that. And also movement wise, they seem very similar in the cadence and the speed and how, how many steps they're taking up far. It's they're all very similar. This gets cool, but then through here, the creature suddenly changes into almost human form where it's just kind of upright, walking and balancing, and it just becomes like a human in the creature costume. So again, I would really look at what do I want to show with this creature? What's the general behavior and what are the movements? So it's a bit strange. At least with him, it goes up and comes back down, which is neat. It just all feels very light and fast. Now I know I said that they move really fast here. They do, but there's, there's, given that it's real, it's just more weight to it. There's something how, how it drops through here. And you can see how the hands, the, the timing of this and the spacing, they kind of ease in. There's no real big impact as they come down. So it kind of soft. And then with that chest coming down, it's a bit soft. But then at the same time, you have this sudden stop. And no real overlap on the head, which makes again makes it a bit rough and light. It's a bit of a mixture of things that are not quite working just yet. But once you get into here, again, they turn more into just different creatures. Like if this creature is always upright like this, a bit more agile, a bit more almost human-like. I mean, that could be your big contrast compared to that being more gorilla. So maybe this creature is always a bit more like this. Once we get into here, the gorilla seems very, very light. And it's almost a bit strange. You got some quick steps. It feels like an old person, like a lot of side to side on the root here. Then you got a big swing like this that he recovers from pretty quickly, changing direction. Same thing here. You got a big swing, but then the legs are just kind of stuck there on your swing back here it's almost getting into off balance territory here you're swinging back but there's no adjustment on that leg a step back for balance it just kind of comes forward again the moves here are very twins in timing and posing it just seems a bit a bit light it's like old people fighting <laughs> almost i don't mind the idea of slapping and swinging it's just not as ferocious. It is not as interesting, for instance, as something like this, where it's this big push off or that, where you feel boom, like you're really hitting each other. 
and the impact on on these guys here so huge oh that struggling that really struggle through there and I especially love this here that oh, you can see the impact and the weight on the gorilla through there so I would look at those cues but also as we fight we're a bit cut off a lot here on the sides especially through there so I'll probably pull out a bit more so we can see the action a bit more and again just the coloring of the background just give this a bit of a nicer view but my main thing is because even through here that gorilla is looking past this creature and this is looking past here you might argue well it's retreating so it's not really looking at it so that's the aggressor so okay but then i would still have the gorilla look more at the creature like here the contact is a bit better so to me there are two things i would really look at who is the main attacker is this creature attacking this so this character is weak yes or no then contrast they need to look and behave differently to make it more interesting otherwise why have this rig you might as well have two gorillas at this point but if you want to stick with the alien i would look at well how do you want it to move like the, for me again contrast would be in terms of not mimicking these two like that behavior in the movement is very similar to this i'll just give this a bit more contrast and then watch out when you have moments like this like little steps like that that just seems very small and timid where it's kind of the same thing through there with those steps here this feels like very very old creatures so i would look at the energy you want to bring in you want to look at is this guy always attacking this guy uh you know is this creature always the dominant one or is it going to be a bigger reverse level on points seems like he's always retreating so opla, excuse me so there's the contrast is kind of in many things in terms of you know the acting quote unquote where i would maybe this creature is fighting and at one point this creature fights back maybe because it's an alien it brings up a new attack that this creature didn't expect given that there's those sharp fangs maybe i would involve more biting you know this seems like oh i could start biting and maybe the the swing you have through there maybe that swing and that arm comes back up maybe now the creature evades that swing and bites the arm and then that arm is locked inside that uh, the mouth here and the creature starts to shake around and then he has to punch the face to get his other arm out of the mouth i think there are other things you can do to make this a bit more interesting and and use the you know the look of the rig and the anatomy and the physicality of this like if this is so big we'll use that use the teeth and bring in that creature behavior but anyway, um, those are my thoughts on that. Let me know what you want to do. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.